hello everyone so today we have a bonus video we are going to uh, introduce some background patterns in these sections with the with the uh, dark backgrounds and this is just to give it a bit more a bit more visual interest but we're not gonna distract too much from the actual content so for example want to team up you might have seen some gradients that are used on um, these kind of sections uh, images are pretty good as well the only downside to images is they can be pretty big hence why going with simple SVG backgrounds is, is a good uh, solution so one resource I recommend is hero patterns and this is pretty cool because it's uh, SVG um, they got some really interesting patterns here and just a shout out to Steve Skuga. Hopefully I pronounced his name right. So this is a really good resource. And what we're going to do, there is one interesting one. Just to stick with the theme of nice weird. And it is the Death Star. Okay, so use pattern. Just click on that. So what we're going to do is the background. We're going to match it to what it currently is which is one 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 and then the foreground we're not going to have it too contrasting because then it's gonna it's gonna really like stand out so we're gonna just go to the next value up which is two 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 see so that's really subtle so all you have to do now is just click on the code here command C and then if we go back to our code Okay, so let's do this on the which section are we gonna do? What do we actually do section? Okay. So what do we actually do? So what we have to do is get rid of the current background colour. So we just put X in front of that just to just to um, just to put it out. And then if we go back up to your star tag. So enter, actually, I'll paste it in too quickly. We need to create a class. So let's call this pattern one. And then we'll paste that in there. Command S for save. Okay, now if we go down uh, the section is what do we actually do? So if we put pattern one, command S, there we go so you can see here it's it's kind of sticking with the theme with the whole Star Wars superhero kind of thing so this Death Star background is pretty cool um, so that's adding a bit more a bit more something a bit more interesting to the background but not too overpowering and distracting from the actual content because the main thing is you want the user to read um, and then for example let's play around with this one so we got different options so there's two that I, I quite like um, that's not too like crazy um, of course it depends on the theme so something that's really minimal and simple so curtain okay so if we click on that so what I'm going to do instead is let's download oh actually yeah let's change the color again so foreground is 22222 two, 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 and the background is 111111 okay that's really subtle now let's try it a different way let's get the actual SVG so if we download SVG Okay, and then if we go into Finder, let's open that up. Let's Command C, and then we go into the folder Nice Weird Demo. We go into Images and we copy paste Curtain SVG, and then we go back to our code. So, what we'll do, we'll go to the style tag again. We'll just create another pattern. So, pattern two background image 
and the URL is in images and it's called curtain.svg what we want to do is we want to repeat it so repeat Oop. come on s so we want apply we want to apply that to the the CTA section at the bottom so we have one to team up and what it has here it already has a background of black so we actually want to get rid of that so we just put an X in front of that so here we've just put pattern dash two space command S let's see how this appears oh there you go look at that what happened there obviously ah okay so even if you change these it doesn't apply it to the actual SVG okay so this is a good a good way to to edit the actual SVG in here so if we go to the SVG there's just a couple of values that we need to play with what it's set the pattern here to black so let, let's let's just test it out can we do a red like this oh yeah come on it oh yeah look at that even that's quite interesting but you can't really read you can't really read the text let's have a look okay so what we're gonna try and do we are gonna try and add a just because it's quite hard to read like that so what we do is we give it a background color so if we go back to the pattern two let's see how this does so background color and let's say two 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 come on s there we are again it's really subtle it's not too overpowering what we can try as well let's see we can even try gradient so another good resource is ui gradients so if we just have a look at let's see a different ones so if we stick with a dark theme and we go to let's have a think now let's just try out different ones Netflix <laughs> actually let's go to red because the saber is quite red so <laughs> Sin City red wow that is very strong let's have a play so we rotated it so that's from light to dark let's see how it is from dark to light yeah uh, let's just let's just see this so if we click to copy if we go back then in here we just command V Okay, and then we just go X in front of that, Command S. Let's have a look. And then Command R. Okay, so nothing happened there. Let's have a quick check Y. Uh, yeah. So what we're gonna do is create um, multiple backgrounds in the, in the uh, background property. Uh, so the way to do that is we can get the image here and then let's see how this works so comma and then let's just let's just get rid of this come on s whoa let's say that we went from red red to black okay so you got a dark red there let's change this to one two three four five six and then come on Oh, no, I didn't do anything. Oh, yeah, I'm doing the wrong gradient. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, S. Oh, there you go. That is really interesting there. So you're kind of blending it in. The red, got the red, um, or the saber, and then it fades into the to the dark. Let's check out another pattern uh diagonal lines this is an interesting pattern so download svg let's go into finder we unzip that let's command c to copy go into nice weird demo go into images command v command paste or paste sorry diagonal lines okay so let's see how that works out so if we change this to diagonal lines lines command s 
Whoa. Okay. See that? That is pretty strong. So if we change the gradient to two, 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 two. There we go. That is, it's got that gradient in there and it is not too overpowering. So you can see there the lines, it's got that nice texture in there. You might not be able to see it on the video, but another way we can do it is we can inverse, we can inverse the, co uh, the color. So diagonal lines, let's say we have it as white. Okay, so that is F, 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 F. Command S. Whoa. Okay, yeah, no, that, that's that's not great. <laughs> so let's go back. Let's fill it to two, 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 two. Come on. Oh, there we go. So it's very subtle. So there we go. Very, very subtle. I actually kind of like the red. The red was interesting. It's different. So if we go back, let's go back and then change that to the curtain come on s even that is quite interesting if you want to keep it simple what we can also do is when you start designing um, and then making simple templates and websites uh, the way that I like to work is to get something out pretty quickly and then iterate it over time so you've heard of done is better than perfect so if you're if you always wanting to make things perfect and you never get anything done that it's quite painful so what i've noticed here just going over the, the the spacing is a bit is a bit tight so it can be a bit more generous okay so if we go into um let's go to the header okay so on the large screen let's give it more padding horizontally so dash L let's see how that works there we are that's better that is more generous with the spacing so again for large screens so currently ph3 is for mobile screens and above at the moment but if we put ph ph4 and then for large screens look at that that's much much better now you got a nice spacing so if we were to just so now on a mobile it will go to ph3 and then on a large screen you'll then get that nice spacing so now we'll just start doing this for the other sections ph4 come on s there we go and even this you can see here is a bit tight so let's let's see um, what do we actually do here we go so ph4 Oh, actually, no, that's the wrong tag. So ph4 dash l command s. There we are. That's just a lot more better. Bit more spacing there. Here we don't need to because it's already centered. And then the one a team up. And then the uh, footer. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. It's got the um, the nice hero patterns just to give it something a bit more interesting and we've added some more spacing to the template uh, we don't want it to be too crammed um, and yeah i hope you enjoyed this episode leave a like leave a comment subscribe and see you again soon